All right, well, I've gotten a little bit further along uh, and things are going pretty darn well. The only issue that I would say that I had was when I glued the C2 and C1 ribs together, which it says to do one of the first, actually the first thing to do in the menu, as far as any gluing is concerned. Um, I didn't do a very good job of making sure that the hole for the spar to go through was clean and that there was that they were actually meeting together really well. So when I pinned each individual rib down to the board and tried to twist this spar all the way through these ribs, when I got to here I had an issue. So I had to back it out and I had to do some sanding and I had to do some fixing to make sure that I had the room to make that happen to get the spar through. So I did that came out fine, uh, didn't have any other major issues, uh, and it looks pretty level, but it's taken me quite a bit of time to get, uh, I say level, it looks pretty square, um, taking me a little bit of time to, to get it square, and looks can be deceiving, none of this is actually going to be in place right now, and when you go to put this on the board, nice flat level surface, and you put it on the plans, you're going to think to yourself, as long as I match up these lines, that everything is nice and square. Uh, I think that you'll find that if you take the time to actually put a carpenter's framing square, and I would suggest doing all four corners, that when you originally, once you get everything the way you think it ought to be, I think you'll be surprised when you actually put a square on it to find out how far out you really are. We know that the center section is square. Okay? We know the entire piece as a whole is square. When we go to do, before we glue anything up, we need to make sure that each individual, each individual rib is square. What I did is I made myself a little ledger block to make sure everything was square. Obviously, very important to get the block square. So I've got a nice square flat surface, and I've got a nice block that is square and true. So I'm gonna take the block, it's got a decent size um, surface to where it's not, you know, it's not too thin to where it's you know, got lollygagging all around. So it's, it's gonna fit in between the individual ribs fine. And I'm gonna butt this up against the spar, block, and butt it up against the rib. When I go to glue that in, because I know this is square, the inside of this outer piece, the C5 piece, uh, C5 rib is gonna be square. So, and I'm gonna use this all the way down as I glue each individual rib into place to ensure that each one is 100% square. So I hope that makes sense, and uh, we're moving forward.